Hi class and welcome to week 13 of HSA 4124. So in this video I'll briefly be going over the assignments that are due this week as well as the materials that are pri provided to you in this week's module. So let's get started. First are the learning objectives for the week and then below that is the assignments for this week. So this week I have not included any additional readings your main focus must be on your global health paper, which is due on Sunday. Now, before I go any further in this week's module, I just want to briefly go over a global health kind of sample paper that I have here. So this is actually an example of what I expect in your research paper you can access this sample paper through the assigned course projects content page found in the student resource module for our course in Canvas. All right, so here we are. Here is the title page. And then I expect you to have a table of contents. And then below that is kind of the body of your paper. Now, I do want to quickly point out that I do expect in-text citations following an APA format. Now, a great um, website that I like to use and I also suggest for my students to check out is the Purdue Online Writing Lab website. And they kind of have a, a breakdown of the APA format. Before I show you that website really quick, other than the in-text citation, of course, in your intro section, you'll be introducing your topic, you must include a clearly stated thesis, which is the purpose of your paper. You will be supporting it with credible research throughout your research paper. All right, so really quick, the website I'm talking about here is the Purdue Online Writing Lab. Um, and as you can see here, it kind of goes over the APA, um, like the in-text citations. You have here, you always include the author's surname, comma, and the publication year. Now, if the author's name is not indicated, unknown author, you can use the title of the source as well as the publication year or the organization. And in very rare cases where you can't find the organization name for some odd reason, there, aren't, there isn't a title, which should never really be the case, um, you can use anonymous as author. But that's, you know, usually not the case, but hey, it's a possibility. All right, so let me go back to the paper. Now, as I scroll down, you have your different subheadings kind of to help me see how you broke down um, the different topics you focused on in relation to the purpose or your main topic of your paper. Um, and I do want to point out that in your reference list also must follow in APA format, you must have at least five sources. Again, with the APA format for your references, you can go to the Purdue Online Writing Lab, which I had just went to, and look at how the references are formatted. All right. So this week, just to kind of give you uh, an overview of this week's module, there are no assigned readings. There is no, like, a content page covering the chapter PowerPoint or the information on the chapter or a content page on the videos for this week. So when you click on the, the next link found on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you will be directed to the submission link for your global health research paper. If you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to help. I am very excited to read your papers real soon. Take care, everyone, and best of luck. Bye.